You get your PVC, sir. Why not? Who is the for? <laughs> My brother, you don't need to ask me that question. It's very clear. Peter Obi, Peter Obi, Peter Obi, if you love this country, if you love this country, the only Messiah is Peter Obi. The only Messiah is Peter Obi. Oh, sir, you get your PVC? Yes. Who you devote for? Get your PVC. Sure, sure. Who you devote for? You don't need to ask now. You don't know already. The only man he go, he go to and say, uh, uh, waiting here for hand, for hand na, na robber. Why we say na watch? So there's nobody in this nation that have never hear about Peter Obi. Even if you he he have not seen him for face, but you he have heard about him. Other news or in the media, all those things. So... PWB is a known person for everywhere in this Let's nation. Let's come back to reality. You see, the problem is our leaders in this country. I'll say it again. Before Nigeria, if you stay in London, you meet Ausa man or you meet Yubo man or you meet Yoruba man. We are brothers. But our leaders, they are causing corruptions. They are doing many things which make people to depart. Kamplaso, Atiku, Buhari, uh, Tinubu, PWB, they are one brother in Nigeria. We need a good accountability government in this country. We are all of them, they are my brothers, as in Nigeria. So, now, come now, who do you think, say, who you, uh, do you, you get a PVC? I have my PVC, yes. So, who you they vote for? I, I can't tell you who I'm going to vote for, because God knows tomorrow. So, who do you think say is the best among these presidential God candidates? God is can show who is the best, and your character will show the best. Actually, I get what for I'm me, trying. when I say, when they call the best, about the... We're talking about the old people or the, the younger people. Tinobu, Kwan Kwaso, Atiku, Pito, Obi, Sean Ore. For me, for me, I've also made them use the young person as the president of this country. Sean Ore. Sean Ore, that one I know too. Sha, you know, I'm the young person. Among uh, Pito, Obi. Uh, if you look the two candidates between Pito, Obi and Sean Ore, that's two people. They are the only person where I want to make it become. Because if all these old men now, they talk of all these old men, now still the same people for this government. So, in the north, I don't know because I am not in the north. I haven't visited north for since of my life. So I don't know their own uh, this thing over there. But I, I know that from south, south, and southwest, uh, southeast, Obi, uh, we are obedient to be fat. For not time people talk say na Mikel Obi they sabi they don't know Peter Obi. Show you think say that one. How that how you see that one? Ah, uh, they say na Obi the uh, Peter Obi. Uh, Mikel Obi they know they don't know Peter Obi. Uh, to me now, uh, Peter uh, Mikel Obi is a footballer. Why Peter Obi just come up for presidential this thing? Most of them they are not in tune. You understand me? with uh, social media and the rest of them. But some of them, I hope some of them, with the internet, go see uh, the, the activities of Obi and the uh, presentation. This so-called Kaba of Nigerian government. So now I believe Peter Obi is the only vibrant person that can lead Nigeria to the promised land. You understand? Yes, that it is. They say for not now, say they know Sabi Peter Obi, they know no one for not. Say now, Mikel Obi, the footballer, they know. What do you think? Uh, not an ass can talk any way they like. M Mikel Obi is a footballer. Them, they for football. Every of the office, now them all are for the sport. So they need to know Mikel Obi. But we will let them know say there is a man called Peter Obi where they come to redeem this country for good. Come 2023, he's going to win. And all of us go cast our vote to Peter Obi, one Nigeria. So, sir, let me ask you now. You think, say, you know, like Labour Party, they say their slogan, say they know they give shishi. Say they know yes, they give money. Anyway, they are just trying to make fun over P2B. But I know, to an extent, some Northerners will vote P2B. Some so Northerners will give you like $10,000 to vote. Hey, that one is election money. You can collect the money and vote your righteous. How long do you need to vote? Understand? Mm -hmm. You can collect the money. It's election money. It's our money also. And vote the right person you want to vote. So you get a PVC? I do. Who you they vote for? I they vote for Peter Obi. All right. Thank you. I believe no amount of money they will give. Are you getting me? That no amount of money they will give to the people that make people change their mind. Now that people will collect their money and eat. Okay. They vote whoever they want to vote. So you feel that Labour Party, people will vote Labour Party? Labour, it's evidence. Uh, you get a PVC? 
So you the vote uh, for You cannot predict election now. And what I can tell you that you can have more votes from north based on what we are seeing now. If you check, youth have woken up. Out of 100%, let's say P2B can get up to 40-45%, while Kwan Kwaso and Atiku will share the rest. Or if care is not taken, can get more than that, because what I'm telling you, 2023 election will, be, will differ from what you have before. People have woken up, and we have seen the difference. We have been suffering. So everybody needs change. The change we need is not APC change. It changed from an individual who is ready to take us along. So what I'm saying now, we are going to have more than what we are thinking. And uh, how it is in North, P2B is there. Most of them say they don't know P2B. Uh, most of them will know because it's not that kind of man that everybody knows. So, so looking at Labour Party, do you think it stands... People, the Labour Party at the grassroots level win because you know when you talk of APC, people know APC. When you talk of PDP, people know APC. Do you don't you think it's a barrier on P2B's part? It cannot be a barrier. We are not voting. If you check now, we are not voting party. What they are voting now is personality. It's a personality. It's an individual we are voting, not party. When uh, PDP came in, they started from somewhere, right? When APC came in, they started from somewhere. So at least, so they are, they are going to, in as much as uh, 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 Abga, sorry, Labour Party have emerged to be in existence now, their story will start from somewhere. So it can't say because it is a new party. God can do anything. So that is my. Do you have your PVC? Sir? Of course I have. So are you voting? I'm voting for Peter B. Thank you, sir. People are complaining that um, Buhari Tenor is not good, Buhari Tenor is not good. But Buhari Tenor, you see a young boy, 25 years, driving care of 10 million, 4 million, which in other governors, Tenor, you have not seen such. So definitely, they, they turn off favor people. So we are expecting the young man to come out, we are for him. And I personally, I will give him my vote. So you are saying Atiku is a young man? Yes, yes. Looking at the crisis with Atiku and Tenobu, do you think you know they are having an issue even today with the chairman of PDP? You think say PDP will he go anywhere for this 2023 election because of WK, uh, PDP crisis with IU and the rest? Uh, the, the party doesn't mean we, as, uh, we the Nigerians, who know what we need for ourselves. Do you understand? Absent of the party, you can still vote who you want to vote for. You understand? The problem between Wika and this person should not distract the vote. So that should not be an excuse. So, bro, so you get a PVC? Yes. So who you they vote? I vote for Tiku. Um, this P2B is more of a movement than the politics we are seeing it to be like. You understand? So I think, yeah, we have a greater chances of winning in the North. At least 50% chances. I don't think APC and PDP, you know, looking at Shetima, uh, Tinobu Vice, and looking at uh, Kwankwaso, former governor of Kanu State, and look at Atiku, he's also from the north. Uh, it's, don't you th and be, for you to be a president of Nigeria, let's assume P2B is winning the south, south, and the southeast, and a little vote from the west. But in the north, you need to at least have a good number of states. Don't you think those people will stand like it will be like a way block for P2B? I don't understand. Like, you know, Atiku is from the north. Shatima is from the north. Why uh, this conquest or rab you? So, and you know, let's assume Peter B gets all the old south south. Don't you think those people like would be a barrier for people, Peter B? Because you need to have good numbers of vote from the, from the northern Nigeria for you to be a president of Nigeria. Yes, I don't think there will be a stumbling block. All I think is that, you know, all of them, almost like the three, the three Atiku, Shetima, they are all from the north. And you see, three of them are going to drag votes there. You understand? Vote Atiku, Kwan Kwasu, and um, what was it called? Shetima. So I think. Um, it will be stand a chance. It will stand a chance, yeah. For me, it stands a chance. Of all things is working together for P2B. For good. So, bro, you get your PVC? Of course, I do. So, you are voting for? Labour Party, sure.
Thank you. When they enter the, the president, the power. Why not? Why not? Do you need it now? Yes. That is. You have it here. Do you need it now? I will show you. Oh, yeah, show us now. <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, Peter Obi is going to win the next election of Nigeria. Mikel is just a footballer. He's now campaigning for presidential election of 2023. So I, I believe that Peter Obi is the next um, presidential election of Nigeria. What do you say Peter Obi if he do? You know, it's, you know, talking of the grassroots level, you know, Labour Party is a new party. But I know. It's a new party, but the man... In, in terms, Peter Obi is a is one of the great men of Nigeria. He has worked for so many places in Nigeria and did well. Did you say for like local government, uh, all these remote areas for villages where they know Sabi the logo, Labour Party stand a chance of winning? Um, actually, yeah, we are not voting for party. We are voting for the person that can do something better for the country. So I believe well, well that Peter Obi is the man that is going to win the election. Bro, you have your PVC? Yeah, I have my PVC. Who is the vote for? I'm, I'm going to vote for Peter Obi. They say, they don't know Peter Obi, they don't know Mikko Obi. Time go come, they go to Peter Obi, still no Mikko Obi. Because Peter Obi is not, not the man of the day, go carry us go along. Because they don't carry no Mikko Obi, they don't carry no Peter Obi. Because he's a father among all fathers. He's a father for the youths. Because all of us are obedient people. So with time, we will know Peter will be very well. So there are nothing to fear about them. They must know I'm very well. come, they go know I'm agree. So, you know, it's uh, for Labour Party, we'll be new party right now. Uh, you know, people never see Sabi the party very well for, 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 for the core villages. You know, what do you think about Labour Party? Do you think, say, like all these people where they inside village, uh, Sabi the party logo well? I I go say for now, Labour Party is a party that is coming up, is doing well because they say if one hand touch oil, the other hand go become oil, oil. So Labour Party that day, that come and say, that come. You go see the advertisement everywhere, it's everywhere, it's everywhere in it. After all, now the world and the civilized now, Peking get phone. So anytime we go, you go see Labour Party day here for the country. So I believe all these villagers don't about Labour Party. When time comes, they go, now, I do my brother talk, you go see Papa and Son and Peking, where they do. You understand? So with time, they shout things, every year you go about, you go see them. You go see the party, obedient party. What do you hear about obedient? If you know the party, why you talk about obedient? They know it's the obedient party. Thank you. Do you have your PVC? Yeah, of course. You have cook or obedient family. So you, are, you are voting for? I'm voting for my brother, Peter, be the right to change the change. Probability. But as it stands globally and nationally, Peter B is the person, is the just the right person for Nigeria to make a change. Thank you. You, you don't think it's the love, the all, love that I'm saying? Uh, social media president, Tabito B is just a social media president. Like, Labour Party does not have structure in the local area and the remote village. Like, APC, when we talk of APC, we can talk, we, we can say the, uh, the broom, PDP, the umbrella. But Labour Party is not well recognized, like being fresh party. So, don't you think it would be a barrier for uh, like Labour Party winning election in the remote villages? Well, um, I feel that with these um, reactions, they are passing a message to us. Or they are passing a message generally to the Peter Obi camp. If we feel that we are only focused on uh, more, uh, the social media, then we should extend our tentacles to the hardware, the available populace. Yes, it should be like a message. Yes, it shouldn't be like, oh, it's a, it's a minus. Let it be a message for us. So let's extend our hands to that aspect. Yeah, thank you. Do you have your PVC? Of course, yes. And I do go ahead to tell young men, many young men don't have PVCs, even as they go about this mass work and the rest. A lot of young men haven't got their PVCs. So that is one thing we should be working on. Because there in the north, we've heard, I don't know how through, that uh, even the little ones that are not even qualified have got their PVCs. And you know, it's like a propaganda right now in the South because, yes, they will freely give them the PVCs in the North or in the West, but in the South, before you can even get your PVC, it takes a lot of time, which is not supposed to be so. I think it's deliberately done. And so it should be watched out for, looked out for, yeah. Why are you voting? Uh, well, I will not tell you specifically, but my conscience will tell me because I need a better Nigeria. I'm voting for better Nigeria. Thank you, sir. God bless you. <laughs>